Indie music has always had a type of fan that seemingly specializes in meat riding their favorite artist, but some fans are bigger meat riders than others. Today, we're going to be ranking which indie artist has the most meat riders in their fan base using a tournament bracket. This is the second part of our five-part series where we will be covering every genre of music followed by a championship winner's bracket to determine which artist fan base in all of music has the biggest meat riders of all time. All right, starting off our indie bracket, we have MGMT versus Tame Impala. MGMT, back in the day, it's funny to think about them having meat riders. Yeah, they had singles that popped off. They had fans that really cared about them in the indie scene. And that's evident from their comeback. People were happy to see them come back, and they came back with a song that really shook uh, all of TikTok and uh, all of the, the little indie kids. For the people that go crazy for Tame Impala, they really do go crazy for Tame Impala. Yeah. They're like, this is the, 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 the only thing in indie that's ever mattered, like the most important an influential thing. Like I always say, Tame Impala at the end of the day really just has music for cucks. I'm sorry to say it, but a lot of their songs are about, oh, you know, like she's with another guy, I'm so sad, and, and try to cover it up in these like really crazy, you know, like trippy synths and guitars. You could make an argument actually that because the fans are, are so in love with like the kind of like a uh, cuckoldom of, of their music, that that makes them even bigger meat riders. Compared to MGMT, again, we're talking about present day, present time. The, the, the meat riding of MGMT even to this day, I feel like, doesn't go too far beyond just, just the big hits they've had. From what I know about MGMT fans, they're kind of chill. Don't really meet right that hard with the exception of, of, you know, like the new TikTok kids that are just really into Little Dark Age. Tame and Paula fans, on the other hand, they will wrap their, you know, entire personal identity into being a fan of Tame and therefore will defend him and his musical ability as if it was their own, but yeah. it's not. Yeah. Tame and Paula, you have bigger meat riders compared to MGMT. Uh, Boy Genius and Caroline Polishing. This is an interesting one because uh, as a group, Boy Genius has perfectly captured that 16 to 30 year old bi curious girl demographic. Yeah. And they're totally beloved for it, right? Like, pl plenty of uh, meat riding there. Well, t technically munching. Meat riding maybe isn't the best word to use in this case, but it's the soundtrack to lesbian ideation with no intent to act. And that sounds really niche, but that's also like 60% of indie pop listeners anyway. Even the, even the males. Yeah, yeah. In, anyway, this creates a really hefty parasocial relationship with the band. One that Caroline Polachek uh, simply cannot hold a candle to. It, it's almost as if uh, Boy Genius has become like the new face of indie. They're so hot and fresh. Yeah. Rolling Stone, Rolling Stone, Rolling yeah. Stone, Apple Music Interview. They're talking to that, that New Zealand dude. With the glasses. No hate on Caroline Polachek, but um, look, you're, the, the amount of uh, meat riding in your fandom just doesn't compare to the uh, crazy boy genius meat riding. Boy genius, I agree, has the bigger meat riders compared to Caroline Polachek. Interest. Okay, so this is going to be yeah. fascinating. We have Slow Dive versus Ethel Kane. Now, look, Slow Dive has had meat riders for a while. Although Slow Dive and Shoegaze was popular on 4chan for a long time, the Zoomers have almost taken it into a, an even deeper level uh, of obsession. You know, you could maybe attribute part of that to, yeah, it's just teenagers and young adults, a whole new generation falling in love with it again. But it's that matched with like the sheer like meme power that like Zoomers like nowadays deliver with like any yeah. band that they love or any musician they love. It's all of that different type of shoegaze that's really popular now where... You know, obviously the Deftone stuff, which we've, you know, we've talked about ad nauseum. Fleshwater, Narrowhead is a big one that's popular again. Title Fight, which we're going to talk about later because it's like, you know, grunge gays. No, like, it, it's really crazy because it's almost as if that, like, halfway Zoomers who are a little bit older than normal Zoomers or even Millennials made it like a one-two punch for Zoomers. Because yeah. now, it, like you said, like, we have, like, this whole new generation of, of, of kids who are making, you know, sho uh, shoegaze music. And the shoegaze memes are going crazier, crazier than ever. Mm -hmm. When once before, it was just something that was still loved to that same degree, but just not as, like, out in the open. But they, they now it's different. It wasn't expressed in, like, in, like an online kind of way. Exactly. Um, now, compared to Ethel Kane, yeah, uh, she has a lot of crazy meat riders. People love her for the kind of like Southern Gothic aesthetic that she has. A lot of people who like Ethel Kane are gonna are gonna like Slow Dive. I guarantee if you had to ask people, any people who were fans of both of these, mm -hmm. you know, Desert Island Discs, you could only bring so many uh, yeah. albums onto the Desert Island as you die. People would say Slow Dive. Yeah, they'd say, hey, give me that Eastern European yeah. name sounding album. Slow Dive wins.
And also, by the way, this video is sponsored by us, our merch, which you can get at neopunkfm.com, neopunkfm.com. We have a few new designs. They're really cool. And you should check them out. It's the best way to support the channel because a lot of our videos get demonetized. We're able to keep creating meat-based content thanks to viewers like you. So thank you for your support. All right, we're dealing with Alex G and Mac DeMarco. A couple of uh, a couple of really sad sacks here, but I'm feeling strong on Mac here just from the get go. However, Alex G is really close. Um, it's a very similar type of person, yeah. just maybe a bit older and mature uh, for the Alex G crowd. And I also feel like growing up, I remember the art kids, the alt kids talking about Mac a bit more than Alex G. Most definitely, but 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 maybe. I don't know if that's because of where I'm from or, or what. Mac DeMarco was being meat ridden very heavily off the bat from his first album and Salad Days. Um, it helped that he was doing stuff with Tyler. It helped that like he just really fit the whole like 2014 through 2016 aesthetic. Alex G, he, he's definitely, I think he's getting more of the attention nowadays. He, he definitely was not as popular as um, Mac DeMarco was when he started off. Mac DeMarco has always had a very chill level of meat riding. Has always given off just that chill hippie personality yeah. i'm i'm cool i don't care super hard about my appearance i i shop yeah. at goodwill I i'm got, a bum yeah. I, I i got the gap in my teeth i'm like imperfect that's me Can't i smoke marlboro me. lights yeah, yeah exactly as compared to alex g he is like the poster indie boy peed his pants and you know when you have that versus mac demarco uh just the the amount of like meme ability that could be drawn from just kind of this like weak little Alex G boy character. He can be like plucked up kind of like a character from from Pocket God yeah. or like one of those flash games where it's it's like beat up Alex G. You yeah. can like click on him and, and throw bombs at him and it makes his face blow up. We've lived through the Mac DeMarco summers, but we're now in the era of Alex G summers and rotting in your bedroom and listening yeah. to well, he plugs his guitar. Alex G, you have the bigger meat riders right now compared to Mac DeMarco. Beach House versus Salvia Palth. You know, the Beach House fans that I've come to know are so in love with music that sounds so kind of like heaven sent and ethereal, despite being some of the worst people I've ever met. Comparing that to Salvia Palf, we're really getting deep into the weeds of 2013 doom scrolling 3 a.m. on your laptop or computer looking for music on YouTube and the right, algo right. recommends this to you. Even, even people who don't really recognize the band Salvia Paltrow, they still recognize that thumbnail. They're like, oh, that's an interesting look, looking like, album cover. That single probably has tens of millions of impressions of just people who've like seen that at 3 a.m. on YouTube on a Friday night. Look, Beach House, yes, they've had a whole generation of kids uh, fall in love with them again. People appreciate Salvia, but yeah. not in the same way that they appreciate Beach House, I, just merely because it's just not as well known, I think. I've spoken to some indie girls before and they're like, I wish I could like erase my brain from the memory of all music so I could listen to Beach House again for the yeah. first time. Compared to Salvia Pal fan, I mean, how much can you get out of just a few releases? Even if you yeah. are a fan and you, yeah. get, you get deeper into the discography, it's nowhere near as intense as the meat writing you'd have with the Beach House fan. So yeah. Beach, House, Beach House, bigger meat writers. So okay. TV Girl versus The National. Now, it's interesting because we have a pretty big demographic switch up here because, you know, TV girl definitely skews younger with like the more like shy, quiet kind of indie guy who's like kind of cutesy and like twiddles his fingers when he like wants to ask out Jessica to homecoming. Or girls who are just like, this is my aesthetic. Like, I'm mm -hmm. so in love with it. Like, they really put it out there to say they, how much they love TV girl. Right, right. For versus the national, you have men in their 40s who are sad, uh, just had a kid. They're just realizing that they're they're getting old now. The national, it's it's sad dad rock. They're mad maladaptively ideating about, man, I wish I ran off with that girl in the one van and we, and we lived that life together. Yeah, as and, opposed and, to, and, and you know, we did the van life thing yeah. together. Yeah. As opposed to getting a middle management job in a warehouse of some mm -hmm. sort. We're looking at the meat riding from old men who long for better days or young boys and females going through their golden years right now. The people living through their glory days right now, they got more energy. They're online, so that means they have both the, the means and, and the MO to take their meat writing energy and share it with the world, to really, really shove it down your throat. So versus the, the guy who's like a meat writer for the national, like he, he's quiet, doesn't talk a lot, and he's just waiting for someone to ask him about, about his music taste. And at that point, then he'll just spill for two hours. You're, you're a lot more likely to interact with, with the TV girl meat writer yes. and, and get like thoroughly annoyed with them. Between the love for TV girl and the national, it's overwhelming, they're codependent. Yeah, no, I, I think TV girl, clear winner here compared to the national. Title Fight versus Pine Grove. 
uh, both very heavy TikTok based audiences here, especially yeah. right now. Now, my initial reaction is Title Fight solely because they have like an entire album that front to back is super popular. And Pine Grove, they only have like the one song that's gotten really big where, you know, where, where, where they're doing like the Meat Rider shuffle to it. People that like that album Shed, they really, really like it. They also really want everyone else to know it and, and like just wear that album on their sleeve and say, look, world, this is my personality. Yeah. Inject it into my veins, you know? Great music for them to like continue to share and propagate through all, all those different like core type TikTok videos where it's like weird core, sad core, yeah. et cetera. Truly incredible the, that the level of meat riding for Title Fight has not died down whatsoever. Yeah, ever since that album came out. People were meat riding it then heavily, saying how much they love it and were obsessing over mm -hmm. it and doing anything for it. People now in the new generation are falling in love with it just as much. Pine Grove, even at that time, was still in the shadow of a lot of bigger bands. They just don't have the sheer, like, man, Title Fight, I'm just imagining, like, that one summer we smashed PBRs, you yeah. know? We did stick and pokes together. I yeah. hooked up with the girls a million times. It was a summer to remember. Pine Grove is like, I had an all right summer. I worked a job. Yeah. You know, like. Title Fight is like, people are always posting the clips of, the, of their old basement shows being like, I'd sell everything. I'd give my left kidney delight to be at this basement show back when Title Fight was small. And that, that's another thing. The fact that Title Fight isn't together anymore. That, that's going to cause a lot of emotional stir. And, intensity and, to the meat yeah, writing. Yeah, and intensity to their meat writing. Title Fight, you definitely have the bigger meat riders compared to Pine Grove. Modern Baseball versus Hot Mulligan, a very solid Midwest emo versus Midwest emo matchup here. I'm immediately jumping, I'm immediately thinking of Modern Baseball, one, because they're broken up, so the, you know, the similar point we had before about Title Fight, because again, it makes them like more emotionally attached to the music. Two, because on the internet, they shorten the band name to Mobo. The fans like be like, oh yeah, I love this new, this like old like Mobo album. And, and I have a hard time picturing um, a, a serious person ever doing that. Meat writing isn't a hobby for them. It's not a passion, it's an obsession, you know? People that really like Hot Mulligan, um, they are quick to say like, oh, they don't have a single bad song. They have a formula that works, they stick to it. Modern Baseball, they're still up in arms about them like not being together anymore. Because of that, they're trying to just drag everyone down with them to like feel their pain. Yeah, when it comes to like, the, the genre that these two share. You know, nostalgia is such a huge factor between the music, the lyrics, the feelings, with the pace at which things move. Hot Mulligan, even though they have a lot of emotional bangers that people are very, very tied to, with just like the amount of sheer content that's being thrown at people every day and like Spotify algorithm and like putting music in here and there, wherever, will not hit the same way emotionally for the people that love them as modern baseball, because modern baseball just when came they from were a scarce. Yeah, yeah, when they were, yeah, just, you know, it was just a different time. Within Hot Mulligan, ask any of them about modern baseball. Mm -hmm. You could get a pretty emotional yeah, answer out yeah. of it. So, modern baseball, bigger meat riders. Tame Impala versus Boy Genius. I'm not going to make any crazy predictions here, but Boy Genius, with the level they're being pushed at now, I can't imagine a bunch of rappers scooping up Boy Genius in the same way that they did with Tame Impala. However, I think that their, their staying power within the indie world is going to be very, very strong. It, it's not very often that like an all-female band like this gets so much praise and attention. Looking at it just from a, a, a meat riding fan standpoint, the Boy Genius fans are definitely more online are definitely a little bit quirkier a silly gleeful kind of meat riding that's, but that's all like, oh, oh, phoebe bridgers is like my mom these are all like my three moms yada da, da, da. however compared to tame impala which has the strong like virgin slash male manipulator kind of loner like cuck yeah. energy and, and, and none of those got none of those guys are really saying like Oh, bro, it's Heyman Paul is my dad. So honestly, yeah. right now, yeah, Boy Genius. Easy. Boy Genius, you have bigger meat riders than Tame Impala. Slow Dive versus Alex G. This is an interesting one because Slow Dive is really like the pure shoegaze representation within this bracket right now. It's like Slow Dive versus Alex G. It's Slow Dive, like carrying the game uh, on their back. You know, the, the game of like Zoomer shoegaze on their yeah. back versus Alex G. If you're throwing the slow dive army against the Alex G army, the slow dive army is just coming with the fucking battalion, bro. They're coming with the RPG. They're also ready to give it all up on the battlefield because the past talking stage that they were speaking to like, has been leaving them undelivered for the past two days. And like they're, they're, yes. they're done. They're ready to leave it all on the battlefield. They're ready to die. Mm -hmm. Alex G fans, they are just passively accepting their death. They want to get like buried with like, like holding like a little rose in between their hands. Exactly. The, the, the slow dive guy, like, he wants to get his head 
fucking blown off. You, you can't beat that energy. So slow dive, yeah, you slow have dive the bigger meat riders. Yeah, slow dive bigger More meat riders. Violent meat riders. All right, beach house versus TV girl. There's definitely going to be a lot of manipulation going either which way between yeah. males and females or whatever. I'll be honest, when TV girl came out on the scene, I was really surprised. I was like, wow, it's really fascinating that Zoomers are kind of accepting this really fascinating. Uh, Y2K-esque energy, kind of like Geico ad sounding uh, yeah. music. With Beach House, it's never been a surprise to me that, you know, that they gained popularity. I mean, they're just like an indie mainstay. With, with the scarcity of TV Girl with their shows and like, okay, they have like a few albums out. And, and we all know at this point that scarcity equals meat riders foaming at the mouth to, oh, yeah. to meat ride. Exactly. As opposed to Beach House, there's so many albums that, you know, people just like going hand over fist with this shit. Just per capita again i mean i hate to go back to that argument there's going to be a lot more beach house meat riders than tv girl but the intensity of a tv girl fan i mean anytime we've seen a, a tv girl fan they've always had either like a vinyl or like something on their phone physical media they're yeah. talking about it i'm feeling tv girl yeah i think we can go with tv girl safely here tv girl you have bigger meat riders compared to beach house so title fight versus modern baseball this is an interesting matchup because we're, we're, we're looking at I don't know, 90% audience overlap here. If you find any guy who both of these are like his favorite bands, turn around, run for the hills. The title fight meat rider and the modern baseball meat rider, they're both gonna be conversing back and forth, figuring out how to get their girl off of Lexi Pro so that her libido goes up and they continue to have sex with her. And we're, we're also dealing with two bands that, that don't exist anymore. So both of those factors kind of even out. They kind of you know, they kind of cancel each other out like, like, a, like a math equation. I'll be honest though, Modern Baseball has a lot of people that love their shit, but man, like Modern Baseball has that like tinge of like a Disney Channel happy ending at least. Yeah, with, yeah. With Title really Fight, does. yeah, no, with Title Fight, it's like watching like a Harmony Corinne film. So honestly, Title Fight, you take the cake here. You have bigger meat riders compared to Modern Baseball. Yeah, the, the boy genius girl and the slow dive guy would definitely both be in a relationship together. It, it would be one that, that's pretty toxic. It would probably end with um, with them throwing things at each other and, and someone getting kicked out of the apartment. Yeah, no, d the slow dive fan, he is self-destructive, but like in a really, not even in a romantic way, but just in a messy... He, he, he romanticizes it yeah. himself. Like, like from the inside looking out, this meat rider, he spends so much time like, like listening to their entire discography. He, he's like, oh, this is the soundtrack to my life. I'm like a super f***ed up person about like i got these cool like pedals and when i hit the pedals yeah it, like like my dopamine goes off with the boy genius you know girlfriend uh she's tired of of him you know begging for pussy but who's the biggest meat rider? exactly who's the, the biggest meat rider it's gotta come down to slow dive that like mm -hmm. self-destructive romantic like doom sadness but like also like a little bit of like ethereal vibes in there the, the kind of effect it's had on people is so scary Compared to Boy Genius, people love them, and they've become the new face of indie, but with Slow Dive, you're entering, like, deep, dark 36 chambers. Slow Dive, you're taking the yeah, W. That's that's a fandom I do not want to mess with. Not at all. Bigger Meat Riders than Boy Genius. Mm -hmm. TV Girl versus Title Fight. To me, this one's easy, but I want to hear your opinion. Um, I feel like we have the same opinion. Three two one title, title fight. fight yeah title fight look like those underground fans they're just so ferocious as you can kind of notice like between the last two we've had just the amount of intensity between the meat riding and these two fandoms has just like yeah. been kicked up by a really big notch it's like we're talking about real emotional i will love this and i will take it to my grave yeah, I, I want it tattooed like on my eyelids so that when i close my eyes i see the shed album cover yeah. comparing that kind of love for title fight versus slow dive we're getting into some pretty tricky territory yeah. at this point carrying all of shoegaze for the zoomers on their back or title fight like we've expressed before just has that sheer blind like you know crazy obsession uh, 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 obsessive kind of fans it's hard to say. People don't post videos of slow dive basement shows being like, oh, I wish I was here. I wish I was there. I, I, I'd, 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 I'd sell you know, my left and my right kidney to, to like go back in time and see this. They deal with Title Fight, though. Like, Title Fight is a pretty gazy band. The, the, these are very interlinked uh, fandoms, once again. 
it, it, it's something about like slow dive having released a project after having taken so much time off being like hey like we're not gone the meat riders will eat that up but they'll also be like oh like they, they get to set they get this like allaying feeling where it's like i'm not as like anxious as it's i like, was before finally i have yeah. relief from all this chaos that's been making me listen to shoegaze to begin with exactly title fight on the other hand they're dead they're gone they're never coming back yeah you, it's done so title fight you have the biggest meat riders out of everybody in the indie fandom. Congratulations on them making it to the finals. Let's see what happens next.